switch to the camera. All right, all right, all right. How's everyone doing out there? Shout out to the whole TrackLib community. How's everyone doing? All right, we got 20 people in here. Everyone saying what's up in the chat? I'll make sure I'll make sure to shout uh, at anyone that has any questions in the chat. So if you guys want to type in there um, and welcome, welcome to this month's Chop Up Challenge. Excited to have uh, Track Girl joining us this session. So thanks a lot for uh, spending your time with us and our community today. Nice. Yeah, we're very excited to have you and um, very excited uh, that you are actually the first female producer that we're uh, hosting uh, on the Chop Up Challenge. So, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely an honor to have you on here. So uh, thanks again. Um, so for the entire chat if you, this is your first time joining a chop up challenge um or if you're familiar with the chop up challenge guys um so we do an interview in the first session uh so it's about a 20 minute interview and then we'll get into listening to your guys beats and uh track roll will be able to give you feedback critique them um and uh she'll be able to pick the winners uh, of the challenge so definitely looking forward to listening to you guys beats and also learning a little bit more about track girl what she has going on um, so let's get right into it um, if you guys aren't familiar with track girl she's produced for the likes of Janae Aiko Vic Mensa Omarion Luke James many more uh, she's the first female producer to have her uh, sound pack feature in Apple's garage band and uh, she's made music and composed music for Showtime's the shy um, she's been featured on ESPN's the undefeated and um, yeah, we're just really excited to have you and excited to have someone with your background and your accomplishments uh, join the community and give your feedback and spend time with us. Yeah, we're getting, uh, I don't know if there's a way to turn up your mic. Uh, we got some feedback in the chat that maybe if you can turn up the mic, I'll turn you up on my end as well. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. That's good. Yeah, we have uh, remorse in the. Yeah, we have remorse in the chat. Uh, they say that they have used your sounds in GarageBand uh, to make music with. So big shout out to remorse. Yeah. Thank you, remorse. <laughs> Cool. Well, it's definitely an honor to have you here. So let's let's kick it off. You know, tell us a little bit about yourself, your background. You know, let let the community know um, a little bit about you. Yeah, building this this amazing career 
you know, independently and, and just trying to navigate and just see, see what I want, basically. That's like a summary. Cool. Um, yeah. We're, uh, is it possible to turn up your mic just a little bit more? Uh, no, it's all it's all good. We're st the community is still saying that the mic might be a little bit low. Can you hear me? Community, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah I mean, I hear you loud and clear. They're, they're saying it might not be coming through, but... Cool. All right, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, we're good. Um, yeah, yeah. Levels are pretty, pretty good. Pretty high, right? Yeah, mine too. Cool. Well, cool. so some of your musical inspirations are exactly my musical inspirations. So it's kind of cool you grew up in that area. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, I honestly, like, I was surrounded by a lot of, like, 90s R&B too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael Jackson, of course, Prince. Uh, but I'm a lover of like just a lot of eclectic music, all genres. Um, like I love this one band from Virginia called Mansions on the Moon. They're very like ethereal, uh, synth based, reverby bands. Like I love indie pop bands too. Like I just love a lot of music. So I just mm -hmm. try to pull from just different genres honestly like i feel like music has no limitation so yeah i'm always just learning about what's out there you know yeah definitely that's always important to be a student especially with music and that's some really cool um artists that you just mentioned right um you know you don't hear modern producers uh make make that reference nowadays as as often so it's really cool uh to know that that's what's a modern producer i feel like we have to like pull from um like I try to pull from both like the analog way, but also, mm -hmm. yeah, keep up with what's going on with like technology and the world's always yeah. moving. But I, I love going back to just really good music. And I think that's like where we should try to just pull from, you know? Yeah. But there's so, so much good music out there, you know? Yeah, definitely. I feel like, yeah, this whole concept of like a modern producer would be, yeah, like you're saying, technology based you know, musicians are some of the first to embrace technology and uh, utilize it, right? Like everything from like a tape machine to a turntable, you know, playing records, then scratching records and just figuring out new ways to play, you know? Absolutely. But I go, I go back to that because it's like, you know, the great producers back then didn't have all of this technology. So it's kind of like, I've been through the practice of simplifying my work and mm -hmm. then seeing what I can do with my sort of sneaker. Um, yeah, no, usually we have everything we need right in front of us. Um, just trying to dive deep into the, like, not worth thinking, because uh, sometimes as producers, we can, like, overthink. Um, just flow, you know, do what feels good. That, that's where I, I try to approach with music. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Definitely. I like your mentality when it comes to music, right? It's just, you've, you've said you're in discovery mode. Uh, and that's like a very beautiful place to be, right? Especially with music, because you let it do what it does. That's just cool. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, I also try to approach music. Um, I really love movies, I love mm. scores. I love storytelling. And I feel like music has, you could storytell with music in your production. Mm. Um, and that's how I try to approach it. Like, let's make a movie. Like, you know, nothing. I feel like the music that I make is not like um, a one-time quick consumption. I, I just try to like just do my thing, but but make it a journey and something that can just be staple and hopefully that people can pull back decades and decades mm. from now. You know, that's, that's definitely a, my approach. The lo the longevity longevity is important. Too. Exactly. Yeah. I'm trying to stay here. <laughs> yeah yeah definitely you know music is timeless right once you once you imprint those waveforms that's it you know it's out there in the world and you you can't really take it back you know so it's pretty cool absolutely 
literally yeah and also producers just put your stuff out mm. stop holding that those that the, that good music that's on your hard drive and your laptop just put it out into the universe yeah definitely that's what i had to learn that's what i had to learn to do <laughs> definitely definitely yeah i have whole hard drives full yeah you're right <laughs> and i often too I, I try to like resample my my old stuff too. Mm. like pulling up old tracks and i'm like oh wow this still kind of resonates mm. that's been like my exercise too yeah so tell us a little bit about like yeah how did you start making music like what was that like first like oh this is you know this is what i want to do honestly it started young um i didn't really have like the imagery of what like a producer who looked like me mm. like, i didn't really have that imagery it was definitely missy elliott for sure at the time when i was young um and it just sort of kind of evolved into like what my definition of what a, a music producer is to me right mm -hmm. um and high school i was in um like i took music theory classes i tried to be i was a part of like the orchestra i played the violin and things like that but mm -hmm. when i was trained it wasn't really fun no shade to my my <laughs> um I guess I just had to figure out like my way of learning music. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, I just started to experiment and just evolve into my own way. Mm. I don't know. Um, and I just kept doing that and I just figured it out. I'm still trying to figure out the code for myself always. Cause I feel like it's a, just an ongoing journey as far as like, you know, getting your skill sets up, um, learning, but trying new things, being experimental, like, right? It's an ongoing, you know, evolving. Like producers, you know, shouldn't feel that they have like peaked ever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That makes sense. I guess I can. I'm just a student forever, so I just, yeah. My first placement was when I was in college. I had a friend. I used to. Uh, record my friends in my dorm room just for practice when i had like early oh lessons. cool and, and we kind of built this like creative community cool um and then like one of my engineer friends sent one of my records to like omarion and like that was like <laughs> my first one yeah like, okay maybe i can do this maybe that's a little validation yeah you know? um and it just yeah i just kept going crazy that's really cool that's really cool that you're able to like you know find that community find that like outlet to help yeah. you know foster that that desire inside of you already yeah well you gotta surround yourself with people who can like push you to be better mm -hmm. um and i always want to surround myself with just people who are really good because that just makes you better yeah you know? um yeah yeah and how did you come up with your you know your producer name at the time i was just like track girl i don't know i just i wanted to build like a like my form of a, a superhero yeah um and that was my superhero and i just stuck with it that's cool um, absolutely <laughs> nice <laughs> literally i was just like okay yeah i'm, I, gonna, I'm gonna embrace this yeah and, and here we are <laughs> no it's definitely a cool name i like the way you spell it like it's 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 definitely <laughs> nice yeah for sure for sure yeah I go back and forth about my producer names. I don't know how everyone in the chat feels, but you know, producer names. Sometimes I had like three producer names before I settled on like I'm just gonna use my name. <laughs> I'm gonna share something with you. My first very early, early like before track girl. I, I hope the music is not out there. <laughs> I was trying to be in this production duo called the Swag Kids. Ooh. Okay, I had the vision. Okay? <laughs> I was in high school. It didn't really come to me. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. my imagination's big. Yeah. If you have an imagination, go for it. That's what counts. But that's what counts. Yeah. Um, that's cool. Yeah. Like, Prince had, like, an anonymous name. You know <laughs> yeah. Man? Like, Prince had symbols. Yeah. <laughs> I think we can have more than one name, honestly. I feel like builds your persona. Just if it fits, it fits. Yeah, exactly. Know? Nice. <laughs> um you so you've produced for um a lot of great artists and um can you share with the community a little bit like what's it like being either in the room or in the process of working with you know you've worked with janae Iko, vic mensa all these artists what's it like 
being in that? Uh, I think music is is intimate. Mm -hmm. I feel like create creativity is intimate. Um, our minds, it's just an intimate process for me, I guess. And I'll talk about Vic, Vic Mensa. Mm -hmm. um, it was amazing working with him, you know. Uh, we just dropped a record last year called Candyman, which was my first single. And the energy for Candyman was so crazy, but Vic Mensa is probably one of my favorite artists, um, mm. friend, and just a good person. So instantly, it was just, we just had a connection, you know? I think that's important when working with artists is, um, you know, you want it to feel good and, and be organic and mm. just flow. And we just make incredible music together. Um, so I try to have that approach. I don't really try to like force with the artists. Um, we take our time and we just try things out. I think as a producer, you know, you want the you want to get the best out of that artist, right? Yeah. Um, but also, you're kind of challenging yourself to 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 drive that art to 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 make the best music possible. So, I don't know. I just try to approach it as if it's you know it's personal, it's it's deep, it's it's connection based, mm. you know. Um, but also just be open to trying new things, and mm -hmm. it's it's a collaborative effort as well. Yeah. Uh, so that's my approach. I I just try to be the i just try to give the good energy that's nice that's like you know i don't try to overstep or anything um you know yeah it's just you should have fun just have fun that, just yeah have at the end of the way you know art. yeah at the end of the day I, I heard a good quote that resonates with me with what you just said which is like you don't necessarily make music you play music right you play an instrument you play mm -hmm. uh something out loud right so it definitely i feel like connection is is really important and i think in today's age where there's a lot of you know of us in our bedrooms you know sometimes it's solitary and just getting out there and borrowing from other people right when i first started right. i had a friend who taught me how to sample i had never sampled before that and because of him now i had an extra tool so I, I definitely resonate with that. I think, yeah, I, I, I love collaboration. Mm -hmm. I love collaborating because I, I think that's how you kind of get better. You just learn from other people's process. Mm -hmm. But also you can just take those little details and apply it to your process, mm -hmm. which I feel like collaboration is, is important, yeah. you know. Um, but sometimes you do have to step outside the bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> Come outside. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, just take your Don't be afraid. Yeah, take your MP, you know, M little Akai keyboard, go out to the park, you know, cook you up there. Do it. Yeah. You can do anything that you want to. Yeah. Literally create anything you want. Nice. Yeah, so you've also said that you've um I I read a couple of interviews where you said that you've gotten into um producing for artists, uh but also now um working on your own artistry. Um can mm -hmm. you share a little bit of that with us? Absolutely. Uh, I think first and foremost, producers are artists, you know, um, we're all, mm. we all have our own artists. We all are trying to build our own ship and wave and sound. That's your art. So mm. that's always been like my, my core. It was just a matter of like, you know, how I wanted to release music, what, what my uh, creative capacity is. And I really feel like, I just want to explore and have fun. So I was just like, Ugh. but for the longest time, it took me some time to get to this place of wanting to put out music though. You know? Yeah. Um, I just had to put my two feet forward and just figure it out and just make the best music and mm -hmm. everything else will come, you know? So I really, really am tapping more into my artistry, whether it comes to visual mm -hmm. live performances, there's just so many, uh, creative that you can do with your music yeah um yeah so i'm just exploring more and more yeah and you're also <clears throat> really into technology um mm -hmm. are there any things like with plugins or you know outside of like the creation of music like a personal thing is there any other type of venture that you want to get into that's music related or technology related yeah <laughs> it's a lot it's, yes over time you know we build we use all the tools 
and I'm really big on um, learning how these tools are made mm. from top to bottom. Um, so I'm really big onto the big into that as far as from uh, a product and design perspective, because eventually one day I want to, you know, build my own tools, mm. build, build my own hardware, etc. Um, but right now, you know, I'm focused on building resources for other creatives who want to tap into that. Mm. Um, because it's, it's a really fun world, again, an untapped world that I think uh, I just want to explore more with whether that is from a product perspective, or just partnering with other tech companies, maybe potentially building a fund for other creatives in oh, that cool. world, et cetera, or helping other, uh, some of my favorite like tech startups and just, you know, just growing, you know? Just That's really cool. Table. That's really cool. Um, yeah, no, I, I just feel like uh, it's, I've always been interested in it. And again, like music, there's so many different ways to just explore music. Um, and that's definitely something that I'm exploring for sure. Nice. We have a question from the chat here. Uh, Joden. From who? Joden. Yeah. He's asking, how do you find artists you're comfortable producing for? Comfortable. That's a great question. <laughs> um, first, it just starts if I like their music you know mm. um but then i like to you know meet with the artists and make sure you know they're a good human and we have a good conversation good connection mm -hmm. um i think uh, i just try to have that human element approach when working with artists mm -hmm. um and if it feels good to me boom if it doesn't feel good then it's you know yeah go another direction um Nice. Usually, it's it's if they're you know a good human. That's how I can like. Mm -hmm. But absolutely, if the art is good, the music is good. That's like always. I'm a fan. I'm always. I'm a fan first. Mm -hmm. I'm always listening. So, yeah, if the art is good, but the comfortability part, yeah, that's that human element. If they're a good person. Cool. We rock. Yeah. We gelling. Boom. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I I feel like my mentality when working with artists used to be like, oh, they have to be someone that. Uh, I think has a lot of potential or, you know, can, can, can blow up. And then eventually I started transitioning to like, Oh, I just like spending time with this person and they happen to rap, <laughs> you know? Yo, yeah. Yeah. I think it's also like, what is like numbers these days? Like just mm -hmm. focus on the music first yeah. and foremost, and then like everything else will come. So I just try to, I want to work with rarities mm. who really care about the music. Mm. That's also like the determining factor if I work with an artist and I do you got you know, do you care? Yeah. Um Yeah. So I, I love rarities. I love the quote weirdos, like you know, just <laughs> people who um approach music uh outside of the box. Yeah. You know? Again it goes back to that care. Care part about the sound. Yeah. The sonics, like. Nice. You know? We have another we have a question from the chat. Uh, this one's from Swift Dreamer, Swift and they're asking, yeah, that's a cool name. Uh, they're asking, I have been reading Rick Rubin's new work, and I want to know, what is Track Girl's creative way when making music? Mm, that's such a great question. My, uh, <laughs> my creative way, my creative way is you know just trying different instruments i don't know i sit down i just start playing the piano playing chords mm. does it feel good um i might get inspiration from other genres older music weird samples i just try to make things that just feel good that's like my i guess creative way i guess cool. but rick rubin is such a philosopher to life yeah definitely how do you guys feel about rick rubin he's like a legend <laughs> super legend yeah he's literally super legend like, yeah sensei of, of the music yes the yogi. yeah he's responsible for so much i remember at one point i read yeah. something like he was working with artists and at one point he just said i'm going to go through the entire alphabet find an artist whose name starts with the you know the letter of the alphabet and just run through a through z and that's how that's he's like great. decided to work that year <laughs> Maybe I should try that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That. Pretty cool. All right. Well, let's get back into these questions. Um, mm -hmm. You uh, you co-founded Future of Sound. 
Um, can you describe what that venture is and how it's empowering other female music creators? Absolutely. Um, Future of Sound, um, formerly known as the 7%, um, we shifted to Future of Sound just because mm. it's literally we trying to invest in the future. Um, it was an initiative, it is an initiative that my myself and my business partner, Ashley, uh, created because we found throughout our journey that a lot of women um, don't have the resources Mm. or tools or the education to pursue a career in music and i think you know we wanted to build that platform to help and give resources um whether that's financial resources or equipment um education opportunities etc so mm -hmm. you know we're definitely going to expand more uh partner with other brands just to give more opportunity um because as you know you know the the numbers are very low for someone who looks like me who's mm -hmm. in that production space so uh, we're just trying to open more doors for sure yeah that's an amazing mission and um yeah it's it's unfortunate that you know the stats are what they are currently but mm -hmm. it's only going to be because of people like you who actually step up and do something that they do change yeah. so i want i want to help all people um that's just always been like my my mo mm -hmm. in life you know, as I grow, I just want to be able to contribute as I climb, you know, yeah. um, cause I know what it feels like not to have something or, mm -hmm. you know, I know what it feels like to go through the struggle, et cetera. Like, so, you know, I want to, if it's just one person I help, Hey, I've, I've yeah. you know, delivered my mission, you know? Yeah. Um, I think that's important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get, get paying it forward essentially. Yeah. Is, is definitely, I think one of the biggest things when doing anything in life, I think. Yeah. It's bigger than me, man. Yeah. It's bigger than me. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll we'll get into the flips in a second. I see the chat. They they want to really uh, see the what you have to say about the I'm the challenge. Excited. Um. So, two more questions here. One's from the chat. We got Damien asking, "What's your favorite instrument?" Equipment or instrument? Okay. Yeah. Uh, piano, man. Yeah. Twelve notes. Yeah. <laughs> so much you can do. Yeah. With 12 notes, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, that's probably my favorite instrument. I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to learn, like, the bass more just because, like, the bass is just so key and core. Mm. And, I, you know, I love it. Um, but definitely piano is, like, my favorite instrument. It's just so amazing. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. What's your favorite instrument? Who, who asked that question? Uh, Damien. What's your favorite instrument, Damien? Yeah, let us know in the chat, guys. What what what's your go to, or if you guys could could pick something up, what would you pick up? Even my, I, I love the NPC though. I love mm. picking up the NPC and going crazy and just chopping samples all day. Like, I, yeah, I love it. Nice. Yeah, you know the NPC was like my dream piece of equipment growing up, and I just haven't, I I couldn't afford it back in the day, and and I just haven't gotten to like sit down and actually like purchase one. And, but I really want to use one. I kind of want to, um, one day I'm definitely going to start like my vintage equipment collection, you know, um, go back to what the, the ASR, um. use, you know, I want to go back to analog, the analog way. Yeah. So I might start my own collection soon. Yeah. I, ju I just <laughs> recently bought a tape machine. It, yeah. Really? Yeah. So I'm going to start that journey. <laughs> That's going to be awesome though. Yeah. It's just to get a different sound, I guess. Music. Yeah, you're going to have the best music ever. <laughs> what should I be using out there? What's the, what's the, fav what's the favorite equipment? They said uh, piano's good. Uh, yeah, someone asked if the MPC put counts. Me on. Put me on, put me on. Is there any specific producer? Okay. One last question, and then we'll get into the beats, guys. Um, so this one's from Christopher. Is there any... Yeah, is there any specific producer, artist that made you want to start making music? Everybody, everyone, always. I, my list is always is long. Um, to start making music, definitely, again, like NERD, Pharrell, mm. you know, Timbaland, Missy Elliott, Aaliyah, yeah. Quincy, just everybody. Classic. But, yeah, No ID, DJ Premier, uh, RZA, the Wu-Tang. You know, Wu Tang is legendary. Legendary, yeah. Um, but it's, the list is so long, too. Janet Jackson. Um, 
but even today's music like Tyler the Creator definitely inspires mm. me to keep going crazy keep going insane yeah visually uh, Solange, musically yeah yeah Solange knows she's mm. tapping you know she's a composer producer herself and her art is just inspires me all the time yeah um Sid she's one of my favorite producers incredible my list is long but um yeah like my friends inspire me I just you know I just want to be great so I just try to be like the greats I guess yeah my service class greats but I, I study a lot too nice Who else? I can listen to the alchemist going insane um yeah I I pull from everywhere the Alchemist. Ah, oh, man, I used to listen to him a lot growing up. Uh, a lot of his production, for sure. Insane. Yeah, yeah definitely. I, you know, growing up in New York, I was always bumping, like, Jay-Z, obviously. And Jay-Z, like, at that time was, like, you know, producer mecca. Like, Pharrell, Timbaland, oh, Heat Makers, Just Blaze, Ooh, Kanye. Just Blaze. Yeah. It's crazy. Era. That yeah. That time? Wow. Crazy, crazy time. Yeah. The golden era of hip hop. Yeah. Honestly. Definitely. And it's still, still there for sure when it comes to, to rap and hip hop. You know, can still stuck with the Kendrick Lamar's album. Production is insane. Yeah. Um, it's a lot. Tapping is a lot. You gotta put me to some music. What are you listening to these days? What am I listening? What's listening to? What am I listening to? Let's see what people are saying. Yeah, Alchemist. People are saying. Um. Yeah, people like the Black Album from Jay Z. Um, who am I listening to nowadays? I would say like, I don't even know the artist names at this point. Like, it, it, it I'll just like go on Spotify and I'll I'll start typing in a genre like, mm -hmm. or a, a country, and I'll type in like Brazil and like learn learn what they they're they're doing out there and stuff like that. Yo, it's the world is so. Big, so yeah. there's so much music out yeah. there. Um, I'm also listening to, uh, I've been in a lot of London artists too. Oh, cool. Um, there's this, oh, this pianist named um, Duval Timothy, mm. and I've been really tapped into his music. Cool. You guys, you guys should definitely listen to Duval Timothy. Dope. <laughs> New Danny Brown, that. Avalanches, Lazy Boy. Yeah, Avalanches, okay. yeah. Got a lot of avalanches Good in there. Taste. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Well, uh, let's get into the um, the beats. Um, let's get into the flips and see what the community uh, has to think about some of these beats. Cool. So let me pull this up. All right. And we'll bring this back down. All right, all right, all right. So we're going to listen to you guys' beats. And um, we're, we'll go through the beats. The way we did it this time around, we listened to a lot of the feedback from the community. Um, so we had the community vote on what they thought the top beats were that were submitted. Um, so a big shout out to everyone in the uh, TrackLib Discord. If you're not a part of the TrackLib Discord, make sure to hit the link in the description. Um, you can join us and um, join the community, um, flip some samples. Um, definitely a good community in there. And obviously, um, thank you to everyone who's participating in these uh, Chop Up challenges. All right, let's listen to the first beat. This one is from Joden. And I saw you in the chat earlier, so let's, let's kick it off with you, Joden. Definitely a vibe. That's great mix too. The bass was moving too. 
definitely a vibe and, and the stuttering effects like all that kind of stuff i love that yeah Jordan, what do you use what what's your dog what's your setup if Jordan's out there i want i've always i'm trying to get better too <laughs> yeah Jordan. uh Jordan, if you're in the chat still uh let us know what, what are you using to create uh your music nowadays all right let's get into That's number good. two this one is from mike g switch up. that like ethereal synth rise i love the the movement a lot of different details that's going on mike g definitely that definitely cool. that's very cool and um jordan actually responded they use uh ableton intro and all free plugins okay yeah ableton, <laughs> ableton is i'm oh i'm still learning ableton yeah i love ableton but I'm, I'm learning Ableton day by day. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard when you first start, but I, honestly, after I started using it, I just like couldn't ever go back anywhere else. So, all right, that was Mike G number two. Let's listen to Newman Beats or N Human Beats. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing the names, guys. <laughs> I hear a beat like this I just want to start rapping and I can't even rap <laughs> oh. 
these outros you guys are putting yeah. on these things, man. This is the detail, the <laughs> breakdown, and that transition into that second half. That that bass, it was very like it was giving like um D'Angelo. Mm. I don't know. Like I just want to like rap now. Like, <laughs> like, I love that. That bass was present. The breakdown though was really, really, really cool. Nice. Yeah, I love when tracks like can kind of break down into a whole different energy not even different energy but still keep that same yeah energy and, and picture but then like shifts into that second half was really cool like it could just be two tracks in one i love tracks when it's like yeah beats in one song that was cool definitely yeah you you know the uh the neptunes were really good at that you know creating these bridges timbaland back in the day used to do that a lot too yeah create your own format yeah get back to bridges please yeah <laughs> bring the bridges back please bring the bridges back I could, uh, that'd be a good t-shirt for producers bring the bridges back absolutely <laughs> somebody make me a t-shirt please <laughs> uh here's the here's another one from steadfast openness of the drums it's not like energy big energy for sure i like the space of that definitely definitely a fire beat steadfast here we are clearly ready yeah ready (laughs) i'm hearing crazy crazy right now here we go here's the next one vj retro Ooh. Cool. That was 
cool with BJ. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Cool little vibe. That's a cool little vibe. That's a cool <laughs> vibe. Here we go. We got Vexo. Shout out to Vexo. I recognize a lot of these Maggie. names from the community. That, that bounce. Was a groove. Yeah. yeah, it's so bouncy. That was a groove for sure. I love that guitar too. Mm -hmm. That bass just had the perfect like bounce and pocket for the feel too. Yeah. I love that. Dope record. Dope record. All right, we got VZA up next. journey yeah easy a, a journey yeah stereo groove i love the space okay like rizza like on a ride yeah <laughs> definitely a journey and and then the tran you know the not transitions but the build-ups yeah pretty yeah, cool it was rising for me i love i love that yeah oh it's pronounced visa okay my bad <laughs> thank you visa yeah thanks for correcting that, that name true soul energy for sure yeah all right, here we go with uh, Syrian Obi. Ooh. Dynamic. 
dynamics. I'm floating. <laughs> Ooh. Crazy switch up. <laughs> oh, cool. Uh, that was, I loved that. Again, that, that switch up. That switch up was nuts. Crazy, insane. What? This is gonna be hard for me. <laughs> yeah, you got you got your work cut out. <laughs> this one is from Isolate Isolated Gorilla. Isolated Gorilla. This is number nine. Nice. That was very nice. Love how it, it's again a journey. I love the details. It's very melodic. A lot going. It was perfectly like mixed as well as bringing in those different details. Yeah. And here we go. Number 10. Uh, after this, we'll have to pick uh, your top beats. Okay. This is from uh, Bada. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your guys' names. <laughs>
cool short and sweet beautiful music out there yeah hey guys you all are superstars literally super talented it's me uh <laughs> yeah someone heard themselves yeah cool all right so now we have our 10 beats uh we've got a chance to listen to all your guys submissions so shout out to everyone who submitted um shout out to the top 10 but continue to submit guys if you didn't get picked this time you know uh keep continuing to hone your craft you know we're, we're in there to support each other and um hopefully one day you know we'll we'll have your music on here featured as well and if you're not part of the community yet make sure to go join us on discord um all right track girl uh it's your turn to pick your your top three we'll start with number three go to number two and then number one uh, well first and foremost everyone you all are extremely talented you clearly taught me something today seriously <laughs> um just know please like send me all the music yeah to reach out to me my door is open all of you are superstars seriously Fire. um okay number three this is gonna be tough I'm gonna say I love the knock of um isolated what was what was it? Isolated, isolated gorilla. Isol isolated gorilla. Isol isolated gorilla had that knock for sure. All right, let's take a listen to that so people can um hear it again. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Awesome, awesome. Number three, isolated gorilla. Congratulations. Isolated gorilla. <laughs> Let's move on to your number two. They were trying to correct me in the chat, but Please correct me. I couldn't. Uh, I, I couldn't keep up with it quick enough. Definitely my my second for sure. Number two, let's let's let the community. Uh, with me. Yeah, let's listen to this again. I just love the texture. It just yeah, this one mm. stuck with me for sure. Different, yeah. yeah. Nice. Shout out to Syrian. So what what made you pick that as number two? It just when that dropped, it just it just was so like it just instantly I was grooving into <laughs> nice. usually when I feel good about a track and I dance. If I can dance and yeah, <laughs> definitely. But also too, again, honestly, everyone is super, super talented. So it was very hard for me to pick a track. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just if I envision like visuals, if I hear, if I groove to it, if I just feel good, that's those are signs for me. Like you're on the right path for sure. Definitely, definitely. All right, number one. Vexo, oh, a crazy groove! Like chat, don't be mad at me, please. <laughs> I hope, I hope everybody's a winner. Okay, literally everyone is a winner. <laughs> but Vexo has has some heat going on. Yeah, I agree. Let's Definitely my number one. A groove. I love the flip, the guitar. I'm, I love instrumentation and production. I, reverb, everything was 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 great about this track. Definitely. Let's take a listen. Number one, Vexo. Shout out to Vexo. <laughs> yeah.
Nice. Number one, Vexo. <laughs> Everyone's a winner. Vexo, yeah, that was that was a groove. That was definitely my favorite. Definitely, definitely a groove. Nice. Danceable. Everybody's a winner though. Seriously. All of you are great. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Yeah, shout out to everyone. Hear more, though. Please send me music. Guys. Seriously, I want to hear more. Where can people follow you? Uh, you know, what what's the best way to get in touch with you? track girl t-r-a-k-g-i-r-l nice or if you want to send me music direct emails contact at trackgirl.com. cool yeah i gotta tap into the discord I yeah know, you know, just pop in but yeah come sure, please, come rock with the sample heads like, you guys are all amazing seriously yeah thank you for that you guys inspired me that was nice that was good. <laughs> shout out to everyone in the chat and Thank you guys for your, uh, the chat. Big hug. yeah, shout out to everyone being positive and supporting each other. Uh, definitely awesome. a lot of fire emojis in here. So yeah, <laughs> positive, positive attitudes all around. Love that. I love that. Dope. Well, is there, are there any, uh, last words you want to give to the track live community? Um, any, uh, last piece of advice you have for, for us before we, uh, log off? Honestly, just continue doing great things. Um, you know, I'm forever a student, so, so, you know, always continue to discover things, explore, you know, the world is so big, so, mm. you know, music has no limita limitations, so just continue being great, and yeah, I, I hope I can hear more from you guys, honestly. Dope. And if you have any other, like, uh, questions, please feel, reach out to me, seriously. <laughs> nice. Well, thank you so much for uh, spending your time uh, with the TrackLib community and with, with all of us here today. Thanks for uh, critiquing all the beats. Um, it was definitely great to get to know a little bit more about your background, a little about your story. And um, we're looking forward to also seeing your career take off and, and go where you would like it to go. So big shout out to you for stopping by. You too, man. You're great as well. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, appreciate that. Thank you for all that you do for the community. That, you're sick. <laughs> Thanks. Seriously. Appreciate that. Thank you. All right, guys. We'll catch you guys on the next Chop Up Challenge. Join the Discord if you want to participate in these, uh, have your beats submitted, etc. cetera. Uh, but in the meantime, um, we'll catch you guys uh, on Instagram or on TikTok or on every other platform. Um, and just join us in the Discord if this inspired you or you want to contribute to the next one. So we'll catch you guys next month. Peace. Big love, guys. Heart. <laughs> <laughs> End the stream.